Have you ever wondered about the end times prophecy and the signs that will signal the rise of the Antichrist? Imagine living in a world where the very fabric of reality seems to be fraying at the edges, where the prophesied signs are taking shape right before our eyes. What if the whispers of the ancient texts are more than just words on a page? What if they hold the key to understanding the world as we know it? The end times prophecy, a subject shrouded in mystery and intrigue, is said to hold within its verses the signs of the rise of the Antichrist. These signs, fascinating yet eerie, are believed to herald a time of great change and upheaval, an era where humanity will face its greatest challenge yet. But what are these signs? And how can we recognize them when they appear? Stay with us as we delve into the signs of the Antichrist's rise, a journey through prophecy and interpretation. The first sign to watch for is widespread deception. In the unseen theater of the end times, deception plays a starring role. According to prophecy, the Antichrist will employ cunning and deceit as tools to ascend to power. He will seduce the masses, not with brute force, but with beguiling words and promises. Consider the role of false prophets in this grand narrative. These are individuals who, whether knowingly or unknowingly, spread misinformation and sow discord. They are the puppeteers in the shadows, pulling at the strings of public perception, bending reality to their will. And then we have manipulation, the twisting of truth. In the Antichrist's hands, truth becomes a malleable thing, contorted to fit his narrative and further his agenda. It's a subtle, insidious process, often going unnoticed until it's too late. Deception, then, sets the stage for the Antichrist's rise. It's a sign that cannot and must not be ignored. The second sign is an increase in war and conflict. When we delve into the prophecies, we unearth a chilling prediction that wars and even rumors of wars will surge before the Antichrist's ascent. This is not merely a reference to sporadic skirmishes or isolated battles. No, it's a depiction of a world in turmoil, a world where nations rise against nations, where brotherhood and unity are cast aside in favor of strife and discord. Imagine a global chessboard where each move stokes the flames of conflict, where every decision carries the weight of war. This prophecy is a stark reminder that the path to the Antichrist's rise is paved with the rubble of fallen nations and the echoes of warfare. But it's not just about physical warfare. The spiritual battle lines are drawn and the soul of humanity is at stake. Societal unrest and conflict, therefore, are key indicators of the impending rise of the Antichrist. Next, we look at the third sign, an increase in natural disasters. The prophecy suggests that the Earth itself will respond to the impending arrival of the Antichrist in a rather dramatic fashion. It speaks of an increase in natural disasters. This isn't just about the odd storm or flood. We're talking about a significant surge in the occurrence of calamities such as earthquakes, famines, and pestilences. The Earth, it seems, will be in turmoil, reacting, perhaps in protest, to the rise of this nefarious figure. The ground beneath our feet will shake more frequently, the crops will fail leading to widespread hunger, and diseases, old and new, will spread like wildfire. This heightened state of chaos and despair brought on by these disasters is another sign pointing towards the Antichrist's arrival. The Earth's turmoil, then, is another sign of the Antichrist's arrival. The fourth sign is an increase in the persecution of believers. A daunting prophecy, indeed, but one that has been foretold for centuries. The Antichrist, as the prophecy goes, will unleash a wave of persecution against those who dare to defy him. Those who hold firm to their faith, who refuse to bow to his rule, will face the brunt of his wrath. Imagine a world where the faithful are targeted, where holding on to one's beliefs is an act of defiance, a mark of rebellion. It's not an easy thought, is it? Yet this is the world that the prophecy paints, a world under the shadow of the Antichrist. Now the prophecy doesn't tell us exactly how this persecution will unfold. It could be through social ostracism, through legal means, or even through physical harm. What it does tell us, however, is that such persecution is inevitable. Persecution of believers is thus a stark sign of the Antichrist's rise. The fifth sign is widespread apostasy. 
Now, apostasy isn't a word that rolls off the tongue every day, is it? Simply put, it refers to the abandonment or renunciation of a religious or political belief or principle. But in the context of end times prophecy, it indicates a mass turning away from faith, a collective shift in the moral compass of society. This prophecy suggests that prior to the rise of the Antichrist, many individuals will sever their ties with their faith, choosing to forsake their beliefs and morals. It is as if a spiritual darkness would blanket the world, causing confusion and leading people astray. The scriptures foretell of this time, a period of spiritual drought and moral decay, where the pillars of faith crumble under the weight of disbelief and disillusionment. This prophecy isn't about individual doubts or questions about faith, but a global wave of rejection and abandonment of spiritual values. Apostasy, hence, is yet another sign of the Antichrist's impending rise. Now that we have journeyed through the signs, let's summarize. As we've traversed the labyrinth of prophecy, we've encountered five key signs that foretell the rise of the Antichrist. Each sign, a piece of the puzzle, contributes to a larger, intricate image of what is to come. First, we discussed deception. This is not just any ordinary deceit, but a grand illusion, a spectacle of lies designed to mislead even the most discerning among us. It will be a time when truth is cloaked in falsehoods, and discernment becomes our most vital tool. Next, we dove into the unsettling waters of war and conflict. The prophecy speaks of a time when nations will rise against nations, when peace will be a distant memory and chaos will reign. This is not merely a prediction of political unrest, but a forewarning of a global turbulence like none we've ever seen. Our journey then led us to natural disasters, cataclysms that will shake the earth to its core. The prophecy foretells of earthquakes, famine and pestilence, a trifecta of nature's wrath that will wreak havoc on our world. We then explored the persecution of believers, a time when those who hold firm to their faith will be ostracized, marginalized, and even martyred. This will be a dark period when the light of faith will be tested like never before. Finally, we arrived at apostasy, a mass defection from faith. The prophecy warns of a time when many will abandon their beliefs, choosing to embrace the deceptions of the Antichrist instead. These signs, though daunting, serve a crucial purpose. They are not meant to incite fear, but to inspire vigilance. They are prophetic road signs, guiding us towards understanding and preparation. Keep watch for these signs, as they are prophesied to signal the rise of the Antichrist. Remember, understanding is the first step to preparation.